Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using moment distribution method. Before analyzing, let us see the beam one time. In this beam, there is a span AB. Also, there is an overhanging span BC. In the span AB, there is a point load 50 kN acting on the center. In the overhanging span BC, there is a uniformly distributed load 20 kN per meter. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the point B, there is a hinged support. Span AB is 4 meter long. The overhanging span BC is 3 meter long. In this analysis, we have to find three moments. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be a moment. Here, the moment is MAB. In the joints, there will be two moments. In the joint B, there are two moments, MBA and MBC. So, totally, we have to find three moments. Also, we have to find two vertical reactions, RA and RB. In the joint B, we can easily calculate both of the moments. To calculate MBC, we have to calculate moment in the point B from the point C. For the overhanging span, there is UDL 20 kN per meter. The distance of overhanging is 3 meter. Now let's calculate the moment in the point B from the point C. For that, we have to multiply this UDL with the distance and a distance by 2. When we do that, we are getting 90. We know that in the case of a UDL, we have to multiply the load with the distance and a distance by 2 to get the moment. Since MBC is acting in the anticlockwise direction, we have to add a negative sign with the load. So we are getting a negative value. MBA and MBC will be having the same value, but MBA will be positive because it is acting in the clockwise direction. MBC will be negative because it is acting in the anticlockwise direction. Since both of them having the same values, we can write MBA is equal to 90 kN meter, but MBA is positive because it is acting in the clockwise direction. Now we are going to find the fixed end moments. No need to make the fixed end moments in the overhanging span. Only make the fixed end moments in the span AB. In the span AB, there is a point load 50 kN acting on the center. The formulas to calculate the fixed end moments are minus WL upon 8 and positive WL upon 8. W is 50, L is 4. When we apply the values, we are getting MFAB and MFBA. Now, let us start making the moment distribution table. In the table, first let us enter all of the members. Then, let us enter the distribution factor values. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, the distribution factor will be 0. So, for AB, it is 0. In the point B, we can easily say the distribution factor values because on the right of B, there is overhanging. On the overhanging side, the distribution factor will be 0. On the other side, it will be 1. So, for BC, it is 0. For BA, it is 1. In the overhanging end, the distribution factor will be 0. So, for CB, the distribution factor is 0. 
then let us apply the fixed end moments for a b and b a we have calculated the fixed end moments let us apply them for b c we have already calculated the final moment minus 90 let us apply that in the overhanging end the moment will be zero we have already calculated MBA which is equal to 90 kilo Newton meter. So we have to make BA 90. For BA the fixed end moment is 25. When we add 65 with this 25 we will get 90. We have released BA and we have to give carry over from BA to AB when we divide 65 by 2 we will get 32.5 now let us calculate the adjusted fixed end moments when we add these two values we will get 7.5 we already know when we add these two we will get 90 for MBC, we have already calculated the final moment. For CB, the moment is 0. In this analysis, we cannot proceed further because we cannot do the distribution. We know that in the joints only, we can make the distribution. For the joint B, the members are BA and BC. For both of them, we have already calculated the final moments so we can't do the distribution so in this case these are our final moments for mab we got a positive value that means it is acting in the clockwise direction we assumed that mab would be acting in the anti-clockwise direction but our assumption is wrong. MAB is acting in the clockwise direction. Now let us calculate the reactions. Let us take the whole beam together and calculate the vertical reactions. When we take the whole beam together, we do not have to consider MBA and MBC because they will get eliminated. So, we have to only consider MAB which is acting in the clockwise direction. First, I am going to calculate RA. For that, I am going to take moment about B. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. RA is acting towards the point B in the clockwise direction. So, it will be positive. And the distance is 4, so 4 Ra. The point load 50 kN is acting towards the point B in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative, and the distance is 2, so minus 50 into 2. This UDL is acting towards the point B in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. This movement is acting in the clockwise direction, so it is positive. Finally, we are getting RA, which is equal to 0 0.625 kN. Now, to calculate RB, let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0, RA and RB are acting upwards so both of them will be positive the point load 50 kN and UDL 20 kN per meter are acting downwards so both of them will be negative we have already calculated RA let us apply that finally we are getting RB now we are going to draw the shear force diagram before drawing the diagram, let us calculate the shear force values. I am going to start from the point A and move towards the point C. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. 
upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Using that, we can calculate the shear force values. Using the values, we can make the shear force diagram. Now, let's make the free movement diagram. We have to make the free movement diagram only in the span AB. No need to make the diagram in the overhanging span BC. For making the free movement diagram, we have to consider the span AB as a simply supported beam and calculate the movement. In the span AB, there is a point load 50 kN acting on the center. The formula to calculate the maximum movement is WL upon 4. Using the formula, we are getting 50 kN meter. Using the value, we can make this diagram. Now, let us see how to make the end movement diagram. We have to use these end movements and draw the end movement diagram. For MAB, we got a positive value. That means it is acting in the clockwise direction. For MBA, we got a positive value. So it is also acting in the clockwise direction. For MBC, we got a negative value. So it is acting in the anticlockwise direction. Now we have to see the direction of the arrows. This arrow indicates downwards. So, we have to mark this 7.5 below this line. Both of these arrows indicates upwards. So, we have to mark the point above the line. If the end movement diagram comes above this line, that will be negative. If it comes below the line, that will be positive. Now, we can combine the free movement diagram and the end movement diagram so that we are getting the bending movement diagram. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.